Amarillo College is working to fill empty positions left behind by retiring auto technicians. KAMR Local 4's Angelina Perez tells us how their program is helping. As fewer people enter hands on careers, Isaac Bernal, the automotive program director at Amarillo College, says the automotive industry is struggling. In the last few years, a lot of technicians are retiring, and we're not seeing an influx of new technicians. We need technicians uh, that are qualified, that are trained to replace those that are leaving. And right now, there's not enough of those, and it's leaving a large gap. Riley Guile wanted to help fill the void. He is a student in the auto tech program and is already working in the field thanks to the knowledge he has gained. It's been a very informative experience. I love working on cars, but there's a lot of things that I just wasn't familiar with and was kind of scared to do, but thanks to the program here. It's really built a lot of confidence in me to be able to go out and explore more parts of the industry that I never would have thought of before. Bernal tells us along with the aging out of many workers, there have been major changes in cars, meaning some techs aren't industry ready. That it's not just a simple mechanical repair anymore. Everything, everything is tied into electronics. And not only do you have to become uh, the mechanic, you have to become the IT technician as well. So coming in, it's a lot of shortage of the older guys, so I just do mechanical, and now I get to come in and replace them and do a lot of the electrical, which is pretty exciting and pretty fun for me. In Amarillo, Angelina Perez, KEMR Local 4 News. Bernal tells us the good news is there's plenty of interest in that program. Forty new students are expected to start that program in the fall semester. The